Okay, we have four equivalent conditions. One is that the matrix is invertible. A inverse exists. If it exists, then we can solve the system. And I guess that's another... Well, I've got that. Okay? So, as you see, if the inverse exists, you have a solution to the system for any B. Okay? The second is the system has a unique solution, which is what I just said. Okay? This and this are equivalent, and you should understand that fairly well by this point. Uh, another is that the determinant is not zero. Non-zero is what I've used here. Put that in parentheses because you might not have seen determinants yet, but you probably have. Um, here, matrix can be reduced to the identity using the defined row operations. Okay, the same row operations you would use in eliminating uh, variables with systems of equations. Okay, so can be reduced to the identity because if you can reduce it to, reduce it to the identity, you can reduce it to the identity. You can reduce this matrix to the identity, which means that your identity matrix will in the reduction process become the inverse matrix. And also the matrix is non-singular. Now that's just uh, terminology. Non-singular means matrix is invertible, means the determinant's not zero, means it's a matrix for which the system has a unique solution. Now, we saw a system here, okay, that has the same matrix that we did used here. <coughs> but this system has solutions. Okay? Matter of fact, as we saw down here, and you recall, it has infinitely many solutions. So what does that uh, do to what we've said here? Well, when I said the system has a solution, I said the system has a unique solution. Okay? You can't use the inverse matrix to solve the system in this case because there is no inverse matrix. Okay? But that doesn't mean the system can't involve two identical forms of the same equation. <coughs> Sorry, two forms of the same equation, two different forms of the same equation as they do here. Okay? And the keyword is unique. You have infinitely many solutions. You don't have a unique solution. Uh, so I could say uh, that's a good point. Solution's not unique. There are infinitely many solutions. Okay, and we're still not done with this. See one more thing, one more connection with uh, this system. Yeah, or the, the three systems that we talked about here. Uh, and let me go back and comment that uh, well the board's going to fall off. Okay, let's do this. That. <laughs> I'm still hiding it. Uh, I just have to put the board down. Okay. Where in the world is it? Okay, uh, if the reduced matrix looks like this, which would be the case, and I had it there, I didn't recognize I had it, the case for this system, then your matrix is not 1, 2, 4, 8, it's 1, 2, 4, negative 8, and as we see, that matrix did reduce to the identity. Okay, so just to make that connection, in the one case where we had a unique solution, the matrix the A matrix, which for this system would be 1, 2, 4, negative 8, does reduce to the identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1.